Well, we learned a little bit about Skyline Raceway uh, on Monday. New situation there with Ronnie Ford taking over pretty much promotional duties. Uh, of course, uh, Brad Smith still involved, and of course, uh, Ronnie's brother is the greater man. So between the three of them, they will be pretty much taking care of everything at Skyline. One of the dates that uh, just came out will be on Tuesday, August 13th, and among the uh, special events happening on that will be a special 39-lap memorial race for Sarah Carmen. Her husband, Chris, is on the line with us right now. He lost her uh, last summer, so to keep her memory going, he's going to be doing a special race on that night. 39 lap memorial race is what it's going to be. 39, of course, because that's how old we was. she was, unfortunately, when we lost her. Chris, how are we doing today? I'm good, Doug. How about yourself? Good, good, good. Uh, the kids are doing well? Oh, yeah. They're, they're doing well, hanging in there as much as they can. Mm-hmm. 15, 9, 6, and 5, guys. So imagine uh, what that must be like uh, for them. So um, so how did you get the idea to uh, honor Sarah with this special race? Uh, I came up with the idea because Sarah was such a big supporter of my racing, and she would want me to keep continuing my racing, and this is a way to pay the tribute to uh, remember her memory in every way I can. Although you won't be actually competing yourself, figured it was better for you to take a different role for this race. Yeah, I'm going to actually, I talked to Ron and Brad. Um, they're going to let me actually lead the field. Uh, we're going to do a four-wide salute for her. So I'm going to be the one that my car will be used as a pace car for the beginning of the race. And we have a new look on the car this year, you told me. Yeah, the car is going to be totally different. Uh, the 181, like I said in the last interview, has been retired. Uh, we are going to go with number 39 this year. Um, me and my dad did some uh, going back and forth, and I told him in every way that it was possible that the 39 was the most important number to go with to try to keep her memory in, in, uh, alive as much as I could. And told me the kids had something to do with the way the car looks this year. Yeah, the kids came up. Uh, he had three different designs put on the table, and the kids liked the, uh, the splash paint idea, so that's the way the car is going to look, and it's looking pretty sharp right now. I mean, we got some more to continue to finish, as I'm the one that's vinylizing this car, so between balancing my full-time job and going to my parents after work and working a little bit on each night, I've got about probably about 60 hours worth of vinylizing this car and probably about 40 more hours worth to go. Can't wait to see it. Again, the kids designed this. So uh, some specifics uh, on the race. Obviously, we know the reason for the 39 laps, uh, obviously. Uh, how much to win? And you said there might even be some lap money involved? Yep. Um, the, it's right now it's at 1,000 and win. Um, it will be hopefully be going more. I'm talk, trying to get a few sponsors involved to uh, come on board. Um, lap money, uh, Corn and Ron, um, once they get the post up, is going to be disputed between uh, – the top five, so, and I believe they're going to start out like 20, maybe 30 a lap and go up. Mm -hmm. So if anybody is interested in sponsoring a lap or becoming a sponsor, reach me on Facebook, or you can reach Ron or Brad, and we'll be happy to get you guys signed up for it. Okay. And everybody's on Facebook, too. So so basically what you'll do is, like, uh, the first place might get it one lap, second place the next, kind of something like that, I would imagine. Yeah, that's correct, Doug, and um, I'm supposed to be going to talk to somebody here in the next week or two about trophies. I'm working on trying to get uh, three good-sized trophies for the top three, so I'm trying to make this as special as I can, and hopefully, if it all goes well, this can become a yearly event in remembrance of her. Yeah, and then as the kids get older, too, they'll have a chance every year to go and think about their mom a little bit at the track where she liked it to be. So uh, I like this a lot. How often do 600 mods run for a purse like this? Can't be much, right? Uh, this is a very, very rarity, believe it or not. Um, I don't ever recall seeing a 1,000 no. win uh, XL 600 race. So um, with this being on a Tuesday night, I believe we're going to see quite a bit of cars. I think so. Because uh, it's not going to interfere with people's points chases. So. And I've talked to a few people from Pennsylvania, and there's uh, speculation that some, as far as five hours, might be making the trip wow. up here to race it. Yeah, and Skyline, if you guys have been there, perfect track for the 600s, too. And uh, if, if you go back to Monday, you can listen to Ronnie Ford talk about some changes to the track. So I could see these things going four wide all over the place, can't you, Chris? Yeah, this corner run, turns three and four, are going to be uh, quite wide. Yeah. So it's going to be a good 
it's going to be a good, uh, there's going to be a lot of passing. That's why I chose Skyline also, because uh, Skyline's so wide. I've seen uh, side-by-side racing constantly up there. Always been one of my favorites, as you guys know. So uh, Now, as for you, how much are you going to race this year? I'm going to race probably once or twice a month, most luckily once a month, uh, because I have uh, the kids, and sure. i got to do stuff with them uh, that they uh, they enjoy, and stuff that Sarah enjoyed, and just to uh, spend the time, because uh, they stay little for only so long, so it's a matter of keeping quality time spent. It's true, very true. So, Well, hey, good luck with everything, Christopher. Did I miss anything? No, um i just been trying to stay busy all winter long. Uh, my way of staying busy, I actually was RC, have been RC racing quite a bit this uh, this winter and picked up my first uh, RC win last Saturday nice. and been doing this for on and off for eight years. So. Well, that's fantastic. I'm glad you're keeping busy. We'll keep you and, of course, your kids uh, in our prayers. So, again, here's the news, guys. Tuesday, August 13th at Skyline Raceway, 39 lap memorial race for Sarah Carmen. Big 1,000 to win on this one, lap money. So all you XL600 modified guys, write that one down on your calendar. If you want to get involved, do something with the lap money. Christopher Carmen is what he has listed on Facebook. Get a hold of him. And if you have some trouble doing that, you can always message me, and I can get you in touch with Chris uh, that way. So, hey, man, I wish you all the best. I'm glad things are going better for you guys. We're praying for you, and I hope things go well on this race. Please get a hold of me when it gets a little closer to remind people, okay? Yeah, thank you, Doug. Uh, remember to subscribe, guys. Uh, turn on the likes. And, uh, you know, if you got a story, you know, this is a sad one, but hopefully some good will come up of it uh, with a with a race uh, at Skyline in Sarah's honor. So we hope to see you guys there. And we hope, guys, hope you have a great day.